Okay, go ahead. So talking a little bit about uh, Summer Disc Media School building up towards uh, Black Monday, which is September 17. Uh, we are putting out a national call for all occupations all around the country and overseas to join us in New York City to come here, engage in autonomous direct action in small groups, very decentralized actions, and effectively shut the financial district down. We want to hit the uh, 1% where it hurts the most, and if they're not operating, they're not making money. One thing we learned from the beginning of the occupation up until right now, in all occupations actually, is that when you're in a large body uh, in a march, uh, you can't really shut stuff down. The police will either shut it down for you by barricading stuff, or they will uh, prevent you from shutting stuff down. So uh, autonomous actions work, small groups work, and um, well, our goal coming out of Summer Speed School is to prepare more bottom liners to bottom line actions, to feel, feel empowered that they can organize direct actions, um, and also to organize everybody in an affinity group. I think the ideal format for Black Monday would be several affinity groups spread out throughout the city doing actions, and we really hope that um, all the occupations, and specifically all the affinity groups, can join us here in New York City on September 17th, about one year anniversary. Black Monday. I was curious. Um, I'm Robert from Occupy DC, and you're Mark. Um, would it be possible to expand this a little bit because to really impact uh, corporations? I would think is to expand it into Sunday Monday or Saturday Sunday Monday. I think one of the things we're looking at uh, with Black Monday is that it's very loose. Um, it will be very decentralized, and we'll, we'll eventually have. Uh, Spokes Council to coordinate stuff. However, we want people to do whatever they want. There are folks who who can do um, actions, maybe not on Black Monday, maybe they want to do it on another day, but link it and message in a way that this happened because we're doing this for Black Monday. So actions could happen outside of Monday. And uh, we don't want to put out certain dates or certain days because we don't want the police, we want the police to be completely caught by surprise. We don't want the state to know what we're doing. So the idea is that we feel empowered to pick another day close to Black Monday, but to uh, do your action and message it so that it's geared towards uh, shutting down the financial district and also shutting down the 1%. I kind of like the idea of Black Monday Eve. Yeah. That's a great idea. And now, uh, even the Black Monday term comes from uh, back in the 80s when uh, all the stock markets in the uh, world collapsed and uh, the, um, the financial markets called it Black Monday. So we're kind of taking it, taking that message that we, we want to be the reason that the New York Stock Exchange uh, does not open that day or does not close that day. They just don't operate. And we, it, it, nothing would be better than for us to see the 1% to lose money and for us to get out this message of uh, mutual aid and uh, and uh, uh, practicing, uh, you know, producing for need and not for greed, and uh, just love for your common folk and not relying on uh, this system of uh, profit. <laughs>